care. Huh? Look, listen. I'm late to the party, but uh, I kind of want to talk about the warband anyway. So uh, how about you sit on it and spit? I'm gonna keep it brief. Ugly as shit. Arctic Warrior's alright, but Winter Warrior and Kodiak look like a dodecahedron. All in all though, they kinda thick, I'll give them that. Same passives, yada yada. Next. It's basically just a fire grenade. Throw it at a bug breach, throw it at a choke point, watch it, kill a good chunk of the chaff. You already know the deal. Good versus bugs, not versus bots. Mm. Same as before. Should go without saying, it's an impact grenade, so don't throw it at your feet and you should be okay. Take the booster if someone hasn't taken the stamina booster. Otherwise, it makes too little a difference on higher difficulties. Next. Oh man, let me tell you, the verdict feels like something out of a dream. That dream being where the Redeemer doesn't exist. Look, mag dumping a Berserker or a Stalker is pretty cool, and I do feel like I'm playing double action Boogaloo whenever I use it, but it's really not the best by a long shot. Or like, you know, several shots. The Verdict is just another emergency weapon, same like most of the other secondaries. And why have an emergency weapon when I can have, um, a second primary? Ah, 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 sit your ass down. We still need to talk about the primaries. Then afterwards, I'll think about letting you come. On to our primaries, we have the Tenderizer. It's a great value version of the Liberator Penetrator that lacks the penetration and can't leg a charger faster than a pistol. Dog shit. Next. The Pummeler's got good crowd control, it can keep enemies in range of a stratagem, and it's functionally more viable than the Concussive Assault Rifle, because you can shoot it behind you, and it does a decent job of warding off Stalkers, Berserkers, and even Hunters SLIGHTLY easier. Less damage, more utility. Pretty good at keeping enemies away from you. Although, at that rate, why not just, you know, kill them? Ah, the Purifier. Gotta keep it 100. This thing is straight up dog shit, man. Gear up for a five minute pissing match with the Ops because you'll hit three patrols before this is done killing half of one. This, uh, air purifier looking at ass makes me want to shave my balls on a fucking cheese grater. But just because I feel that way doesn't mean you have to. Treat your balls nicer with our sponsor, Manscaped. This one just saddens me, in all honesty. One would expect more from a weapon that needs charging, but that's, uh, proven to be a bit of a mistake. Just take the damn scorcher. Unless you enjoy padding your kill streak with tin cans, or... And that's it. Polar Patriots is done. Another war bond, another round of items slated to be dog shit by the time the next war bond comes out. What will Alexis Kravchenko, the same man who is a lead game designer for Hello Neighbors 2, help cook up for us next? Will it be more weapons to sink our teeth into? Or weapons will be sinking further into the fucking ground with? Shit, I don't know. I'm only like 12 years old. But expect more senseless slop from me soon. Maybe not Helldivers content only, but slop nonetheless.